Hey everyone, I'm making this uh, quick tutorial to demonstrate a nifty application that I found on the internet by the name of Soundflower. What Soundflower is, is an application that allows you to record sounds playing on your computer without a loss in quality. This is much better than simply placing a microphone in front of your computer speakers and hoping to record something that is optimal in quality. Um, so basically, type in Soundflower into Google and download the appropriate version for your operating system. I believe that it also comes in a variant that's compatible with Windows. So for me, I'm using Snow Leopard and I downloaded 1.5.1. Once you've downloaded and installed uh, Soundflower, simply go to Applications, click on Soundflower, and click on Soundflower Bed. An icon should pop up in your navigation bar. Click on it, and click on Audio Setup. Once you've clicked on audio setup, you'll notice that initially we have the speaker icon at the built-in output. Built-in output re uh, refers to the speakers that are present in your on your computer or your laptop. What we want to switch to is Soundflower, two-channel. Two-channel refers to stereo. So first highlight it, right-click, and use this device for sound output. Once we've done this, simply close this uh, the Matt, the audio MIDI setup, and now launch QuickTime or whatever recording software that you use. I'm gonna start a new audio recording. Now it's important that before we hit the record button, that we click on this down arrow and change our input to Soundflower two channel. For you guys, it'll most likely be built-in input line in, which is the built-in. Um, microphone in your computer. So select Soundflower 2 channel and then right now you can see that it's not picking up anything. That's because I have nothing playing on my system. Let me turn on Ustream and turn on the sound. And now you can see the QuickTime is actually picking up that sound. I cannot hear it but QuickTime is detecting that sound so it'll be able to record it. So I'll just press the record button and QuickTime is on its way recording whatever is playing on my computer. I'll let it run for a couple of seconds. Okay, that should be enough. Let me stop that and let me stop this. Now let me switch back to the speakers on my computer so that you can hear what was just recorded. Okay. Close audio MIDI setup, audio setup. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the speakers on my computer. Use this device for sound output. Okay, and let me close that. And back to this. On the space station's trust. Well, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS, has been a project that's been uh, 15 years in the making. I don't know how much money and how much manpower has gone into this thing, but I know a whole bunch of smart guys. And there you have it. Perfect recording of the audio playing on my system. If you like this tutorial, please thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to me as well. I would appreciate that. Thank you.